and are just about to enter. So if you want to take photos or look around, now is the time to do it. In sickness and in health. In failure and in triumph. In failure and in triumph. 
failure and failure. Together we will dream. Together we will dream. We will stumble but restore each other. We will stumble but restore each other. We will share all things. We will share all things. Serving each other and our fellow humanity. Serving each other and our fellow humanity. I promise to establish with you. I promise to establish with you. A home for our family. A home for our family. Shaped by our respective heritages. Shaped by our respective heritages. A loving environment. A loving environment. Dedicated to peace, hope and respect for all people. Dedicated to peace, hope and respect for all people. I will cherish and respect you. I will cherish and respect you. Comfort and encourage you. Comfort and encourage you. And stay with you as long as we shall live. And stay with you as long as we shall live. Free and bound by our love. Free and bound by our love. So. <laughs> um, I didn't need to say anything. Let's give them a So marriage does not exist in isolation. Emily and Arthur Hassan have called us, all of us here today, to celebrate with them. And as the representative of all who love them, Jean now has an important question for you, which you will see in the uh, order of uh, events in front of you. Please join me in using the answer in the sheet loud and clear when she asks you the question. So, Jean. Emily and Arthur Hassan have pledged themselves to one another. Will you, their family and friends, support and uphold them in their marriage now and in years to come? We will. We will. <laughs> <laughs> So we have some words of wisdom from their friends as well, I think. Perhaps Terry first. Words of wisdom. I was asked to talk about the relationships. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be yes? <laughs> well done. <Still> there. <laughs> so I'll try to talk about something different. Let's talk about the Torah. What? The Torah. The Torah. <laughs> you need one of these. Picture the scene. You have one car on one side and one car on the other side, linked by a rope. The car one's in front of car two. Which one's going to tow? Well, the key, the key really is in the rope because it's very difficult to push with a rope. Okay. You do need tension. Just bear that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's lesson one. <laughs> then you have to start drawing. And if car one starts off and car two still got the handbrake on, <laughs> things happen. Okay, that you need to put right and the direction of Paul. It's more than just communication, it's also about putting yourself in the mind of the other and judging exactly how your actions will be received by the other. Relationships are forged through this mechanism. It can be summarised in one word, and that's compassion. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's known as the golden rule. It's nothing new, and it can be found as the source of most of the, of the cultures and religions in the world. Compassion is extremely important. Do unto others as you would have done to yourself. As for married life, it's no different. The chemistry helps us to recognise our partners in the first place, but to build a relationship, we need to practice the compassion. None of us are perfect, and we all fall over occasionally, but compassion helps set the compass. So M's and our has, as you put each other along through life, the first towing lessons complete, you give each other the starting signal, and the hand is on. <laughs> so to help you with later lessons, I've put in the parcel here to build a book for you, because you're academics. <laughs> but you'll also need to practice when you've read the book, so you'll find there's a good strong tow road in there as well. <laughs> so, from everybody, happy road trip. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, good afternoon. My name is Ahmed. I've known Emily and I've son over the years, and I've had a chance to observe 
the relationship grew from the beginning. Emily was my colleague at Oxford, and her son was my student back in 1987 at uh, Ghana Business Secondary School in Ghana. There are many people. <laughs> there are not many people uh, who find themselves in my position today. Enjoyed your relationship. We've enjoyed knowing you both, and we look forward to meeting you in the future. Okay, so we say look to the past for all that you've learned. And bring to the marriage. Okay, enjoy your presence. We've, uh, it's an honor to share it with you, and we love to share the future together.